Today we're going to be taking a quick look at a watch from Seiko that's one of my favorite releases from them lately. It's kind of a toss up between that watch and the SRPK17 that I picked up a little while back. Video on this one coming soon too, but the watch is a reissue of the 1968 Navigator Timer. I love a tonneau shaped case, big fan of GMTs too, so ticks a couple of boxes straight away for me. Now this watch was lent to the channel by Jem Bijou, who is an authorized dealer for Seiko and many other brands if you're shopping watches. Definitely check them out. So let's get to it and take a look at the watch. So these watches have been out a little while now and the watch is limited to 4,000 pieces, which is a fair amount, but nothing compared to my SRPK-17, which is limited to 15,555, but still quite a few for a limited edition watch here. That is Seiko for you, but this is still a really cool watch. Not identical, but it's fairly close to the original. A couple things that aren't perfect with it, but we'll go through all that here soon. One thing I've really liked about the watch is that sunray finished gray dial. It has some serious pop to it in the right lighting, especially for a gray dial. On the Seiko site, they say they've lowered the Seiko logo to keep it more in line with the logo placement on the original. Down at the six, we have the text water resistant 10 bar. Kind of wish they used the navigator timer like they had on the original, the navigator timer text, but it's fine as is. Over at the three is the date in white, and I like that smaller red GMT hand. Nice looking handset overall. The loom is solid. Even those tiny loomed hour markers have good staying power, which you sometimes won't see with having such a small amount of real estate to apply loom. Running the watch is the 24 joule 6R54 movement with an approximate three day power reserve. The crown is a little on the small side, so to wind the movement, it's easiest to just sort of slide your finger along the underside. In the first position, clockwise is going to adjust your GMT hand. Counterclockwise, the date. And then in the last position, you can set your regular hours and minutes. The bracelet for me is probably the biggest weakness with the watch. It feels a whole lot like a bracelet that would have come on the original watch. It feels like a bracelet built in the 60s. If you've ever handled any vintage bracelets, there is quite a lot of drape and jingle jangle with it. But on the flip side, it's going to wear really comfortably on wrist because of that. Wish it was a bit more solid when it comes to build quality, but yeah. The clasp isn't bad at all. It's milled steel. The only downside with that is there is only two micro adjusts, but fortunately the links are quite narrow, so you still should be able to get a decent fit. The tonneau case design looks really nice, and we've got that good curvature to the side profile. Brushed on the top with polished sides and sharp lines where the finishes meet. The bezel has a coin edge, and it is a bi-directional friction bezel. You can use that to track your third time zone with those 24 hour markings. We also have the pip up at the 12 o'clock and you could use this for a timing bezel or a dive style bezel as well. Size on the watch comes in at a case width of 38.7 millimeters. The lug to lug is 45.1 millimeters. Lug opening is an odd size 19 millimeters and the thickness is 13.2 millimeters, including the AR treated sapphire crystal. Water resistance on the watch is 100 meters. And here it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. And this thing is killer. Even with the bracelet, I'm liking it a lot. Until just recently with the SRPK-17, I hadn't bought a Seiko in probably a couple years, but this is very tempting. This is a new watch, so I don't want to mess with strap changes, but I bet this would go great on a distressed leather or maybe even a suede strap. Might have to fork over for some 19s if you don't have them, but I think this would look great on a whole lot of different strap options. 
Cost for this is 1500 USD, 2150 here in Canadian dollars. If you're looking for one, check out gembijou.com. Link will be below. Thanks for taking a few minutes to stop by, and we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.